Wow, my gas sounded longer than usual. In addition to the sand problem, in addition to the supernova, we even have to worry about not having enough oxygen. Oh. You barely got to look at anything there. The Sunless City. That's right. Anglerfish Fossil. No, my children used to play a game in the Fossil Fish Cave. There is a way to enter the Fossil Fish Cave from the Stepping Stone Cave. The entrance from Stepping Stone Cave is hard to see unless the anglerfish is fed a light first. Yep. A Nomai city built into the walls of a huge underground cavern. The city is divided vertically into four districts. Alright, well, at the minimum, this time we do know how to get there. And... I'm gonna focus on trying to get to the anglerfish fossil, I guess. Oh, stressful city. Oh, hey! Right behind the escape pod is where... We were before, right? We saw this, and we never got to look at the whole thing. Yeah, since we know we're gonna run out of oxygen at the Sunless City, we can stay here for a bit longer. It's fine. Something's still broken? I still hear it. Here we go. Right, the last time we found this thing, and we didn't understand what anything was. This is the Hourglass Twins. Oh, this seems like it's some kind of locator, too. Giant's Deep. Let's read. This planet sometimes, and only sometimes, has a moon. This is also of note. It disappears if no one is watching it. Isn't that a fascinating orbital characteristic? I found your note, Melloray. Kindly count me among this moon's admirers. What is happening when it disappears? I doubt it ceases to exist. Does it move to another location? I believe so. Not only does the moon appear around Brittle Hollow, I can confirm it sometimes orbits around Timber Hearth as well. This is my first time encountering a natural satellite with the ability to vanish when not being watched. We should study it. Or even better, we should travel there. I agree. Our first step would be determining a method to track this phantom moon, so that we can always know where it is. Given its reluctance to move while consciously observed, it might be a form of macroscopic quantum mechanics. I think we found Chert's notes here last time, but we didn't get to finish looking at it. Get that. Chert's research notes, property of Chert, Clearly, the Nomai were making astronomical observations here. They chose an excellent spot. What is this big rotating device for? What was it the Nomai were observing? I'd posit there is something special about the orange symbol on that device. Hal and the new astronaut's translator tool would be nice to have handy about now. Uh, I can go back and tell Chert about it. But maybe not now. Eventually. Ah! This must be Chert's old campsite. Yeah? Can we not eat it? There we go. Now we're good. <laughs> These things are moving in accordance to the planets. When we first came here, it just was so mysterious, and we couldn't comprehend it at all. The quantum moon locator is functioning. We have markers for each of the places the moon goes. Oh! Anona, Burr, I just observed the quantum moon in orbit around Dark Bramble. You have keen eyes, my friend. So this moon travels to a total of five locations, not four. I added a marker for Dark Bramble. I thought the locator now accounted for all of the Phantom Moon's locations, but sometimes the locator can't tell where the moon is. Perhaps there is a problem with the device? It's also possible there exists a sixth place in this star system to which the Phantom Moon travels. Oh. Oh, so when it's orange, 
That's telling me where the moon is, and we can see it. Oh, this is the quantum moon locator. These are the planet locators. But sometimes the moon can't be found. Okay. Now it's on Giant's Deep. We can see it. The sixth location. That's gotta be related to the quantum rule thing, but maybe we just don't understand it very well right now. <laughs> um, pass. Let's pass. We gotta get back to the escape pod. I think we have more than enough time though, because down there, we run out of oxygen pretty quickly. Oh. Quantum moon locator. A Nomai device created to track the quantum moon's location. The Nomai hypothesized that the quantum moon might be a form of macroscopic quantum mechanics. The quantum moon travels to a total of five locations, and that's a lie because there is a sixth one. The quantum moon sometimes disappears, possibly to an unknown sixth location. Many Nomai went on a pilgrimage during which the quantum moon carried them to its sixth location. To explore it, the shrine has to be on the moon's north pole. So what does that mean then? We have to land on the moon, make the shrine be on the north pole, and then get off, and then it'll go to the sixth location, or... Not really sure how that works. But I think we probably have to learn the last rule, and holy crap, it's right here. Speak of the devil. We gotta go back to the escape pod again, which is pretty close by. Right here. Oh, you know what though? In addition to the oxygen problem, I forgot about the sand. Maybe we have to stick to meditation this round. Let me just have a quick look though. See, there's so many constraints, I can't even keep it straight in my head. Don't do this to me. No, we can still see it. Can we get there in time? So forget about the other districts for now. Let's focus on the anglerfish. If we can. The timing for entering the Sunless City is not as tight. It's not that tight, thank god. Actually, the oxygen would be tighter. <laughs> oh, don't have enough, um, fuel. Ouch. That wasn't supposed to happen, but hey, it did. Shouldn't affect too much, if we don't mess up from here on. Here we go. Now that we have a scout there... The Stepping Stone District... I probably want to locate it again, because I don't remember. Over there. <laughs> I'm starting to do some dangerous things here, aren't I? Just to get through a little bit faster. So we can't see very well here, but we know the scout's over there. Whoa! If we fall, we won't die. It's just sand. But we might have trouble getting back up. That's the main problem! Oh dear.
at least the sand's not going up here. Scout is there. Do we just keep flying up? Uh... Oh, maybe up here. Oh! My gosh! No! Okay, I gotta go back down again. Dang, dang. Ah! I gotta get this right. <laughs> and I don't have very much fuel to do so either. Hold on. Oh, we made it! But look at how much fuel I have left. My goodness. Okay, what's here? Give it to me. Oh, there's so many dead children. Levy, whoever was it when we ended last game is the anglerfish. The rest of us, the little fish, line up against one wall. When the anglerfish says go, the little fish sneak across to the other side. If the anglerfish catches you, you're eaten. Oh, we're gonna learn from this. Last little fish to be caught is the new anglerfish. The old anglerfish gives a new anglerfish. The blindfold and becomes a little fish. Why are we changing it? It's too hard if you can't see anything. And Pi says real anglerfish are blind, so you have to wear a blindfold. <gasps> the rule stands. Rule update. It's okay if younger kids don't wear the blindfold when they're it. The rest of us will still wear it for scientific accuracy. <laughs> and to make the game more even. The anglerfish are blind. Is that the main takeaway here? The anglerfish are blind? Oh shoot, what's going on there? Anglerfish study. This anglerfish's digestive tract suggests death by starvation. An update. Melloray. What's that sound? While I was here making sketches of the anglerfish, I observed the children I saw earlier playing here again. They've added a rule to their game that incorporates our research. It's wonderful. I'm entirely delighted. It's never too early to appreciate biology. The long-term growth protruding from its head is bioluminescent. Perhaps it used this growth to attract prey? Allure. Visually, this specimen appears to be of the same species as the anglerfish and dark bramble. We don't believe it originated from this planet. That's it. So the anglerfish are blind. How are they discovering us every time then? And oh my god, where the heck are we? <gasps> there was a way back to my ship right here? Oh! I can get oxygen here! Oh, that's wonderful! We can continue on for a little bit more. Gonna guess we can't open this door from the outside normally though. Cause then that would invalidate the whole point of going through the caves the first time around. Back to the anglerfish being blind. So if they can't see, then they must be discovering me through sound. What about me making sound? The jets? Maybe that means I can't use my ship. We'll have to go back there and try again. Oh, now it's too late to go back to the Sunless City. Oh no, we might be okay. We're back here. Holy frick! What else can we explore? Oh, are you kidding me? There was oxygen here. Oh, maybe last time I didn't walk close enough? Can we check out the Eye Shrine District? 
Or what's that place? Take this one off. We don't need the anglerfish anymore. Uh, let's save the high energy lab for next time. We'll go for the eye shrine district today, which is apparently all the way up here. Gravity cannon. What? Oh, what? How do we... Oh, we can stand there. Oh god, that's me! <laughs> I was like, who the heck is that in the picture? <laughs> The gravity cannon is here, but we can't reach it. Or can we? <gasps> oh, what? Oh, there's another exit to the outside. This might be the gravity cannon. The Sunless City. The shuttle is currently resting at the comet. Hmm? Oh, it's talking about the frozen Nomai shuttle! Activate the gravity cannon. Call the shuttle home. Activate the gravity cannon. Call the shuttle home. Ah! Oh! Here we go. <gasps> I fear our situation may be dire. Clary, the only one on the shuttle. Pi, Pokey, and I. Landed here on this comet, not long after its arrival in the star system. Our shuttle's equipment heard strange energy readings coming from somewhere beneath the surface. Pi and Pokey were able to locate a fissure in the ice on the comet's sunward side, and they descended inside to investigate the source of the readings. But Pi and my sister have been gone for a long time now. They haven't contacted me since descending below the surface either. Oh, they never got to tell everyone about the ghost matter. Should I leave the shuttle to look for them? I want to follow protocol, but I don't know what I'll do if they aren't well. Pokey, Pi, come back to me safely, my friends. Where is Clary? We don't even know where Clary is, though. She or he is not here. I don't know what we did. Oh. Where are we going? Oh, the sun is looking pretty dang hot here. Are you taking me somewhere? Dude, there's not even a window. This is just... I can't tell if you're taking me somewhere with a purpose, or if you're just floating around in space. Are, do you want me to- Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh! Jump? Uh oh, this might not have been a good idea. Ah! At first glance, I thought that was a place on the sun. 
But looking at the structures again, I think it was actually Ash Twin. I was thinking that we were supposed to jump off at some time during the shuttle because that's how we get to new places, but maybe it just happened to go across Ash Twin? <laughs> I got no clue. Hey, you. <laughs> I keep getting killed by ghost matter. Use your skeleton detected, you dumb idiot. Did you think I made that just so you could take pretty little pictures of trees? It has multiple uses. You do know you can use it as a light source, right? Stars above, please tell me you knew that. <laughs> oh, I didn't even remember that Slate made the scout. Thank you so much, man. Without it, I'd be lost. Okay, let's just see what happened with the log here. Yes, anglerfish is now done. Gravity cannon. No, my children used to play a game here. One player was an anglerfish and wore a blindfold. The rest of the children, the little fish, lined up against one wall. When the anglerfish said go, the little fish had to sneak across to the other side. The blindfold rule was added because real anglerfish are blind. So if we don't want to get detected, we gotta be quiet. Gotta remember to go back sometime. Frozen Nomai Shuttle The Nomai landed on the interloper not long after its arrival in the solar system. The shuttle's equipment heard strange energy readings coming from somewhere beneath the surface. There were three Nomai aboard the shuttle. One of them stayed behind to keep the shuttle warm, while the other two explored the interloper. Clary, the Nomai who stayed behind, lost contact with the other two after they descended below the interloper's surface. Mmm, so when we went there, we saw the little crystals because the core ruptured already, but when they saw it, it was probably still complete. But very shortly after they found it, I think it exploded. A huge cylindrical structure that generates a strong upward gravity field. I recall the Nomai shuttle from the interloper. Hmm, so what they wanted you to do was find the gravity cannon, which would let you get the Nomai shuttle, which would let you get to the ruptured core. But we managed to find the core before we found the shuttle anyway. I'm still curious about the shuttle though, because where was it trying to take me? Should I go back and try this again, just to see what happens? Yeah? We still got more in the sunless city here. Hmm. I feel like we're slowly but surely making it to the end here. <sighs> Isn't that exciting? All these mysteries unfolding. Even though I was so intent on disliking Ember Twin, it's actually not turning out so bad right now. <laughs> Ash Twin might be something else entirely though. <laughs> we'll have to see. That's a warp core, right? We've seen that on some of the warp towers too. A little mini black hole? Is that what this is? Right, so that's the launch button. Whoa! Oh, this brings us back to this place here. Then what about the third one? I don't know. Oh my god, that moment of silence before everything came crashing down. <laughs> Was the third one stop all operations or just suspend mid-air? I think we ran into the column of sand just now. <laughs> okay, this time, let's just try launching it and leaving it alone. Where do you want to go? Where did we end up landing anyway? Because that kind of- Whoa, whoa. Um... That didn't happen last time. I guess the positions all changed a little bit.
You know, I've been thinking that this ship leads me to a specific spot. But now I'm not so sure anymore because we died in a lot of different ways just now. Maybe I'll just leave it alone for now because there's plenty for us to explore back in the Sunless City that we hadn't seen before. Oh, frick. Of course going back wouldn't be that easy. I thought we came out of a hole before, but I don't remember where that hole was. I gotta go check on the location sometime. I feel like ever since we started exploring Ember Twin more, the amount of times we've died has exponentially increased. <laughs> oh, there's writing here. Should we build a sun station to power the Ash Twin project? I almost can't comprehend this is being suggested seriously. The purpose of the sun station goes against every standard we hold ourselves to and everything we believe in as a species. Unsurprisingly, Idea, I disagree. We're pushing a possible new technology further than ever before. That, in my experience, is the defining characteristic of our species. Are there other ways to generate this level of power? Theoretically, yes. Practically, no. I can't imagine discovering them in our lifetime. I understand this proposal is unsettling, but the Sun Station must be built if we hope to complete the Ash Twin project. If we fail, and the probability of this is not insignificant, we will without question destroy ourselves, all life here, oh, and the rest of the star system. I wish to protect these species. The potential annihilation of an entire star system is too severe a cost. We shouldn't build a sun station, no matter how badly we want the knowledge that comes with it. Fear of failure is a poor reason to not try, I believe. If we're cautious, the sun station will work. I believe in Pi. Pokey, I'm deeply honored. Idea, I comprehend your position. However, if we aren't all but certain the sun station will not cause destruction once we've built it, then I won't support the station's use. The sun station? That's actually something we've never heard of before. Oh, that's gotta be the thing that's circling the sun, right? I don't think we finished looking at the Eye Shrine District last time. Let's check that out again. Oh wow, there's like ghost matter here. Mm. We should probably go through the houses. Because there might be writing inside. Okay, yeah, never mind. Never mind. Oh. The way we find these know my skeleton here though, it tells me that their death came very instantaneously. Because earlier at the anglerfish, we saw children there. They were still playing when they died. And there's people sitting at the tables. That's probably pretty consistent with the ghost matter stuff. The ruptured core. I just hope it wasn't painful. Solanum. Oh, you're here too. I don't know why everyone says the eye is important. They say it brought us to the solar system, but is that good? Dad told me lots of Nomai died when our clan came here. The Zelanum is a young Nomai. It seems like the Nomai have been here for at least one generation, one full generation, and they've had kids here and all. What if the eye wanted that to happen? What if the eye isn't something good? Oh, that's... That's a really uncomfortable thought. Oh god. This is like their helmet or armor astronaut suit? Look! Everyone just died when they were sitting around. It must have been long, long ago. Because we've been able to sustain life here. And we're not affected by that event. Oh. Holy god. Yeah, we're not going there. Okay.
I feel so invested in this journey here now. This is what the gnome I have been looking for. It's not really... Oh. Hey, I wonder if we can, like, stay inside here. Oh. I thought it would lead to a new place. Never mind. The Eye of the Universe is something the gnome I want to look for. Not really the Harthians. But at the end of the day, we're all just here in pursuit of knowledge. Oh yeah, that's right! The last time I tried to come here, it became the Gravity Cannon instead. What happened to the Eye Shrine District? Oh, it's right here! Oh, I was expecting a little bit more, but I guess that's it. Well, we know what's at the Gravity Cannon, so we don't need to go there again. What the heck is that? Is that a window to the outside? How are we seeing that? Oh, maybe that's just like the color of the wall? something behind here? Oh yes there is! Oh, here we go. Did the eye dealer really call out to us by sending the signal? Or did we hear the signal by coincidence? We could be seeing meaning where there is none. Suppose the signal was produced incidentally. Does that mean the eye is any less important though? Perhaps the eye wanted to be found. Could it be sentient? Maybe it chose us. Does the eye desire something from us? Could it need us in some way? Maybe it doesn't have to be us. Oh, we can see the outside from here. Well, I don't know if it's the gnome they're looking for, but maybe we can solve the puzzle for them. Is the eye natural or artificial? Maybe someone built it. The eye is older than the universe itself. How could something exist before its creator? Though this doesn't answer how the eye could be as old as it is. Hey, you remember how we had that thing where we traveled 0.0001 seconds before we traveled? If the same thing happened to the eye, then that could explain why the eye is so old. If the eye called to us, why won't it reveal itself? Why is it so difficult to locate it? Did the signal stop? Does the eye no longer desire to be found? Perhaps this isn't the eye's choice. The eye may not be able to communicate with us more than it already has. Did something happen to it? As far as we know, the signal happened once, but then it just sort of went away. Be welcomed in this place. This shrine is a space to reflect on what brought us to the star system, the signal from the eye. We observed the eye's signal in our travels and followed it here to find its source. What we know is this. The source of the signal, which we have chosen to call the eye of the universe, is older than this universe itself. The rest we have yet to learn. Enter and open your mind to its possibilities. This is really important to them. They have so many... Yeah, we weren't supposed to get to it this way. They have multiple shrines dedicated to this thing. Multiple little mini civilizations and multiple shrines. Some names we've seen in the logs have definitely been repeating though. Coleus, Pi, Pokey? Because wasn't Pokey the one responsible for making the warp core? And yet we find her here too. Anglerfish, we've done that already. Stepping stone. Okay, the last thing we're missing in this place is pretty much the high energy lab. But we can't do it, at least not this time. 
more like for sure, not this time. <laughs> hmm. I mean, yeah, pretty much. What about this here? Have we been here? No, yeah, we have. It's just a, a house. Oh, the little kid's house. Right. Oh! There were some writings in some district, right? When we died last time? The first time we died? Where the heck was that? I don't know. But I think we couldn't figure out a way to get to it because it was blocked off somehow? Oh, where in the world was that? No, this is back to the beginning here. So the sand never really fills up there. Good to know. Oh, it was here. That's right. But we still don't have a way to get there, do we? It seems like it should be important because it told me to launch my scout in there. The first time I saw it. I can see that there is a door there. But the problem is, how do we get to that door? Because now we're walking further and further away from it. Sand? Could there be a hole where the sand comes from? <laughs> it's kind of hard because the sand is working against us. Yeah, that's... Hmm. How do we get in there? Okay, well, when we came up the little teleport thing just now, I think I saw a different little room. Oh, frick, the sand is already, like, covering this up. Here. No, this is just this level. And then this level is back here again. Okay, the only way I can think of is through the sand, the sand holes. Can I shoot a scout up there? If a scout can't make it up there, then I can't. Yeah. Look, it wants me to go in there. That door. It's right behind here. But we can't even get to that location. Oh, maybe if we go down and look up? I don't know how the sand's doing now though. That might not be possible anymore. Oh god. Yeah, definitely not possible. I think maybe this time we just want to embrace death. <laughs> or... At the very minimum, I guess we can go to the gravity cannon. Try to look at that ship again, if that's possible. The gravity cannon is on the surface though, so we are able to look at it. Pretty much no problem. Oh, but we also have to make sure we don't step onto the spikes, which we are definitely going to. So that's wonderful. Oh, I don't know how we're alive. Dude, we're done, man. Oh, 
Oh, it's kind of nice because they don't repeatedly puncture you just for standing on it. Oh, yeah, we can also confirm the location of the hole here, this entrance. There's no door, so when we come back here next time, it might be faster to go through the hole. That's right. Oh, the controls! <laughs> okay, let's just meditate.